Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. So you just graduated high school and you don't know what to do. You're asking yourself, what's next? Well, I'm here to help you to make the next decision in your life. You could either do one or four things. The first thing you could consider is you could take the traditional route of continuing your tertiary education and go to a university. The second thing you could do, go to a trade school. The third thing you could do, become an entrepreneur. Or the fourth thing you could do, join the military. Let's go over the military first. The military is a foundation for a successful future, right? So you spend the last 17, 18 years living at home with mommy, daddy, your guardian, and you're now an adult. Well, guess what? It's time for you to act like it. It's time to take charge of your life, take responsibility, and be what? Independent. That's exactly what you need to do. You need to be independent. So guess what? You're going to join the military. You're, they're going to start you off with a nice paycheck. They're going to put a roof over your head. They're going to provide you with food. They're going to provide you with everything that you need. So that's a great start in your life. What are the benefits of the military? First and foremost, independence. The second thing, free healthcare. We all know how expensive healthcare can be in today's society. Guess what? You have the military. You have free dental, free medical, free healthcare. The next thing the military can provide, free school. So you didn't want to go to university, but guess what? You did not know how to pay for that university. As we all know, university can be very, very, very expensive. Therefore, you join the military, you do your four years, you get out, you use your GI Bill, or while you're in the military, you could use your tuition assistance. Yes, there are several different ways you could use the military to pay for your education. When you go to boot camp, you do get college credits for that. Yes, you get electives. When you advance in your job, you do get college credits, free electives. So there you go. The amount of electives you get from uh, being in the military, you knock out a quarter of your degree, quarter of your uh, associates. So that's something that you should definitely consider. The next thing the military uh, provides, it builds stoicism, right? It ensures that you become strong as an adult you need someone to break you and to make you and that's exactly what they do in boot camp they break you they make you so you could be a better person you could be a better marine you could be a better soldier you could be a better sailor or you could be a better airman while in the military as well they pay for everything most of the time so you have the opportunity to save all the money that you most of the money that you get right put it away so when you get out after doing your four years, you already have something to live from. Okay. I bet you didn't know that 78% of Americans that owns a home are veterans. Yes, 78% of homeowners in the United States of America are veterans, right? This is the reason why I'm encouraging you guys to join the military because the military pay you BAH, basic allowance for housing after you reach a certain rank. So instead of using that money to pay rent, you could use that money to pay a mortgage, right? And that's how you get to own your own house. The next thing, free security clearance. Some of these security clearance that the military provides uh, could range from 5,000 to 10,000 in the civilian world. Most places you go in the United States, right? Most stores, whether it's online or, or the store itself, you always ask for that 10%, 20% military discount. That is a big benefit that you can always ask for. Hey, excuse me. Do you take military discounts? Yes, we take military discount, 20% for you, 10% for you, everybody get a discount, 5% for you. So guess what? Consider the military. By the way, I just want to say this video was not sponsored by the military. I'm not a recruiter for the military. I'm just giving you my recommendation based on my observation. So the next thing we're going to talk about is trade school. I personally believe that a trade school is one of the best investments you will ever make for yourself. 
The Harvey Trade School can range from anywhere from 5,000 to 33 grand. Within 24 months, you're completed with a course, right? Versus a university, it takes up to four years and you're paying up to $127,000 for the four years, right? With a trade school, you can be self-employed, which means you don't have a boss, right? You work for yourself. You work on your own time and you make more money that way. The next uh, incentive a trade school offers is that it is on the job training. We all know not a lot of people like to go to school, like to be in a classroom settings. So we wanna get our hands dirty. So guess what? Trade school provide that as well. Executive order 13932 prioritize skill jobs over college degree. So that's another great thing why you should consider trade school, right? The next thing we're gonna discuss is entrepreneur. Yes, this is a very unpopular one. At 18 years old, how am I able to become an entrepreneur? Well. In today's society, right, e-commerce is taking over. Most people are making millions by sitting on at home working on their computer. You could do YouTube, you could sell stuff on Amazon, you could sell stuff on eBay. There are several things you can do, right? I'm not going to really dwell on the uh, entrepreneur aspect of things, but that's another thing that you can consider. Let me say Last but not least, and not my favorite whatsoever. And that is to go to university straight out of high school. The only way I would recommend any person to go to university straight out of high school is if they have a full ride scholarship, their parents paid for that, or they were pursuing a specialist degree. I, you want to become a doctor, you want to become a nurse, you want to become a, an engineer. Of course, you need that degree. But apart from that, I would not recommend anyone to go straight uh, to university, especially if they're going to take out a student loan. Whenever I hear the word loan, I go crazy, right? I don't believe in loan unless it's a mortgage loan or a business loan. But if you're going to take out a loan to go to university, especially to pursue a degree that you may change your mind after your first year as a freshman, I think that is just ridiculous, right? So that's something that you really want to think about and see, okay, do I really want to take out this loan, right? Do I really want to take out this $20,000 a year loan to go pursue a liberal arts degree that whenever I get out of university, I can't get anything, I can't get no job. And let me tell you one last secret. Avoid student loan at all costs. Do not get a student loan unless you must. Try and apply for a grant. Try and apply for a scholarship. Try your very best. Join the military. Use that GI Bill. Use that tuition assistance and pay for school. Remember, do not get that student loan unless you must. Okay? Okay, good. I feel like we're good. I feel like we're becoming friends right now, right? We're on the same page, and I like that. You could be my friend. Maybe you're my friend. You know what? Use this time. Follow me on Instagram. DM me. Message me. Let's just, let's chat. You know, let's chat about it, right? Because I feel like you're going to make me proud, okay? So add me on Instagram, motivate underscore J, right? Remember, that is your life. Remember, it's your bus. Remember, it's your ship. I want you to take charge, right? I want you to take charge of that steering wheel. Take charge of that helm. I want you to drive that bus. I want you to sail that ship. No one else. Far too many times, we allow the influence of others stop our dreams and aspirations. I've seen people that say, oh no, I can't do this because my mom say I need to stay home with her. I can't do this because I have to stay close to my girlfriend. I can't do this because my friends will be mad. It's your life. The only person you should please after you reach 18 years old is yourself, right? Once you make a decision that will benefit you and will make you proud other people will be proud of your success 
most of the friends that you have today they will become associates in the future you're not going to be close with them you're just going to be oh yeah i knew that person in high school so if for you to make a decision for that person that will impact your life not theirs yours is just ludicrous so again it's your life is your ship is your helm take control take charge lead by example be a leader not a follower well, we've come to the end of the video i just want to say thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me and to give me the opportunity to help you to make a better decision that will influence your life and for you to become a better person in society tomorrow because we need young people like you to pass the baton to right to continue this great world that was put and laid out for us but remember this it's your life you're now an adult whatever decision that you make today will only benefit you in the future again it's your life i need you to take charge and right now i need you to go out there and go kick some